I grew up in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And you know, Jackson Hole is noted for big mule deer. And I hunted them for over 40 years. Also, I videoed for my father, and I videoed some big bucks. This is the hunting season in Wyoming, and this is on public land. Now, this buck here has uh, come down. He's about a, a high 170, low 180 type mule deer. And it's during hunting season, we have a special permit. Now, I want to let you know that what happens here is he's running up here to look at a doe. She's an estrus. And there's another buck up here. And that other buck is between him and this doe. Now, look at him here. He looks like he just looks like a blowfish. He just gets stiff-legged here. He pins his ears back. And watch him blow up his chest here. He just gets almost a third bigger. He struts along here. He says, hey, man, I'm bad. Look at me. I'm bad. What he's trying to do is intimidate this buck that you're going to see show up here. Now, a lot of people think if the mule deer have the largest antlers, he's going to win the fight. And that's not necessarily true. And in this case, it isn't. I want you to watch what happens here. This other buck that's going to come in on the right here is a younger deer. He's probably only four years old. He probably is 50 pounds lighter than the buck on the left. But his antlers are wider. They're not necessarily bigger, but they're wider. Now let's watch this, what happens with these two bucks as one keeps the other away from his doe. Look at the one on the right, says, don't you come any closer. Now watch what he does right here. Now watch the guy, oh, buck on the right, right here. Now watch him. Now watch this again. The buck on the left is gonna just move a little bit. Our old buck, he's just gonna move. Now watch the buck on the right, what he does here. He's spitting at him. He's actually spitting at our buck saying, don't you come near my doe. Well, our big old buck here, he's, he's been down this trail before. He just said, I'll just circle right around this buck. And so that's what he's doing. Now watch the younger buck follow him. And right here, the younger buck's thinking, hey, I got him on the move. He's running away from me. I've got him. I'm, he's, he's leaving. Right here, the light goes off in his head. And he goes, well, wait a minute. He's between me and my doe. Now watch what he does. He starts running here. He says, hey, come back here. Well, our old buck, he's had enough of this. He spins around right here, and the two of them get it on right here. Now watch what happens when the two of them get together. Go right here, and he gores him right there. See how he gores him in the shoulder? Ouch, ouch, ooh. Because his antlers were wider, he was able to gore him. Now watch our younger buck go, man, I got my head hurts from doing that. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And the old buck, he looks at me like, Eastman, you didn't see that, did you? You didn't see me get whipped. And then he spins around here and says, man, I'd sure like to get up there and get friendly with that girl there, but I don't want to go through this again. Out on the winter range, I come up on another buck, and you noticed here he's got his eye put out fighting. He was gored in the stomach. I missed the fight. I am 70 feet away. He doesn't see me because he can't see me. Let me uh, call right here. Notice here, he, his one eye has been punched out. And uh, when I come up on him, if I'd come up five minutes earlier, I would got him fighting a buck. And the buck that whipped him was only like a 150 deer. Now, this is a public land buck that's found in the high country. Let's look at him the next year. He did make it through the winter. This is what he looked like the next year. He blew an antler off. You notice here he has his kind of his cheater. But you don't want to know something? That year right there was the last year. Uh, two weeks later, he died. Uh, winter killed, uh, but he was able to pass his genes on, and I guarantee you three years later, you'll find a buck out there that will just look exactly like him. They pass their genes and their antler genes on year after year. Look at this big old buck. Isn't he something? A good public land trophy mule deer. This buck I filmed uh, on the winter range that winter too, and we call him corkscrew. Look at that. He's got double drops. He's got what I call 190 mainframe. He's uh, 30 inches wide. When he turns here, you'll see he's got a six inch cheater hanging off one side of his rack. But what makes this buck so unique is he's got those two double drops and the one corkscrews down and I call him corkscrew. You know, he came back on the winter range last year and he never had those double drops. He did have that long cheater, but he just eliminated those drops, which is too bad. This is also another public land buck that's found and is hunted on public lands. This is during December, and these bucks are down rutting, uh, down on their winter range. Just a real nice trophy mule deer.